Watch Elizabeth Watts, weekday evenings on News 5. From the News Specialists in Southern Colorado, this is Eyewitness News Tonight with Sandra Mann, Harv Holliday, and J. Ralph Carter. Good evening, everyone. Lisa Leiden, Patrick Madden, J. Ralph Carter's weather, and Harb Holiday Sports. Live from the Eyewitness News Center, this is Eyewitness News Late Report. NBC for Southern Colorado. KOAA TV, channels 5 and 30. This is Eyewitness News. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Lisa Leiden. Rob is on vacation. The traditional flyover by the Air Force Thunderbirds marks the end of Academy life for 787 graduating seniors. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Lisa's on vacation this week. You're watching News First at 6 with Lisa Leiden, Rob Quirk, Weather First with Mike Daniels, and Lee Douglas with Sports. Now from Southern Colorado's news leader, channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 10. First class does not do anything unless told to do so. The Iraqi prisoner abuse scandal hits home tonight as a Denver defense team reveals a strategy for their client. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Jennifer Baker in for Lisa. You're watching News First at 10 with Lisa Leiden, Rob Quirk, Weather First with Mike Daniels, and Lee Douglas with Sports. Now, from Southern Colorado's News Leader, Channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 6. Of course, it is vacation time. A lot of people will be... Now, from Southern Colorado's News Leader, Channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 5. A fog of wind-blown smoke in the security wide field and fountain area this afternoon. Now, from Southern Colorado's News Leader, Channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 6. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. From Southern Colorado's News Leader, Channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 10. He's going to spend the rest of his life, his earthly life, in jail in prison and he'll have time to think about that word remorse. Detective Jared Jensen's father on the sentence handed down tonight against Jeremy Lambert, the man who murdered his son. Live from Southern Colorado's News Leader, this is News First Today. Good morning everyone, 6 a.m. Time to roll out of bed. We'll get this Wednesday morning started together. You're watching News First today on Southern Colorado's News Leader, News First 5. Live from Southern Colorado's News Leader, this is News First 5 at 5. Live from Southern Colorado's News Leader, this is News First 5 at 6. Live from Southern Colorado's News Leader, this is News First 5 weekend. We don't know what we can do. Well, disappointment and frustration on the Gulf Coast with yet another failed attempt to contain that massive oil leak. Plus, new details tonight in a deadly motorcycle wreck in Pueblo County. And a bad accident involving an 18-wheeler. Look at that. It's all caught on tape. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm James Jarman. Nicole is on maternity leave. You're watching Southern Colorado's News Leader. This is News First 5 Weekend. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News First Today, Weekend Edition. 
Good morning, everyone. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News First 5 at 5. Well, it was a day of celebrating for more than a thousand. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News First 5 at 6. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News First 5 at 6. I'm Lisa Light, and we have several major developing stories happening tonight in Southern Colorado. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News First 5 at 10. And tough times impacting the college level as well. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News 5 at 5. We continue to remember 9-11, a local effort to honor the victims of the terror attacks. With Lisa Leiden, Rob Quirk, Lee Douglas, Mike Madsen, and Mike Daniels. This is the most watched early evening newscast, News 5 at 5. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News 5 at 6. President Obama in Colorado today talking about easing the burden of student loans. With Lisa Leiden, Rob Quirk, Lee Douglas, Mike Madsen, and Mike Daniels, you're watching News 5 at 6 for accurate and balanced coverage. A local effort to honor the victims of 9-11 has helped to forge a new partnership between the Air Force and UCCS. Live with accurate and balanced coverage, this is News 5 at 10. With accurate and balanced coverage, this is News 5 at 10. Well, a multi-million dollar gift is paving the way for a new health sciences facility. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 5. A trespasser is shot and killed in Pueblo County, and now the homeowner is facing charges. With Jennifer Horvelt, Rob Quirk, and Mike Daniels, this is the most watched early evening newscast in Southern Colorado. News 5 at 5. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 6. Well, a week from Election Day, Colorado key in the presidential race. Live from Studio 2B, News 5 at 6.30 starts right now. And thanks for joining us for News 5 at 630. I'm General Horbelt. Let's get right to it tonight. Here are your top five. At number one, the search continues for a fugitive. Walsenberg remains under a code red status tonight. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 10. The high school diploma isn't cutting it anymore. Tonight, we're finding out a new program that's getting kids college degrees. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 Today. Welcome back. It's 6 a.m. on July 11th, a Thursday. I'm Adam Atchison. And I'm Marissa Torres. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 5. It's that time of the week. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 6. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at 6. Now, this is News 5 at 6.30. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at 6.30. Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 10. A Kona Zone alert for you. Now, this is News 5 Today. And the kick is no good. Well, not a bad way to start the NFL season. Your Denver Broncos holding off the Carolina Panthers in a nail biter last night in the Mile High City. We'll bring you the biggest moments of the game this morning. That's coming up on News 5 Today, of course. We want to say good Friday morning to you. You're watching News 5. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at noon. Now, News 5 investigates at 5. New at 5, a student caught with a gun on the campus of Fountain Fort Carson High School. The district tells us school administrators got the tip this morning. The school resource officer confronted the student and removed him from school. You're watching News 5 at 5. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 5. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. We have lots to get to tonight. You're watching News 5 at 5. And we begin tonight with a News 5 alert. And this just in, a U.S. District Court judge has thrown out a lawsuit. A sudden downpour, bringing rain, hail, and flooding. 
She's in the car. That girl needs to get out of her car. News 5 continuing coverage as we track the storm moving through southern Colorado. As News 5 at 5 starts now. Bye-bye, Daddy's car. A monster storm. Here's a look at Mother Nature's wrath today as heavy rain and hail pounded southern Colorado. You're watching News 5 at 6. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Quirk. I'm Elizabeth Watts. Good evening to you. We have new details tonight on a bizarre standoff between Colorado Springs SWAT officers and a man in a tree. You're watching News 5 at 630. Good grades. News 5 investigates how Colorado parents are keeping their kids' grades up in the classroom from home. Slow-moving monsoon thunderstorms across southeastern Colorado. Still more in your Wednesday forecast. And while weather rips across southern Colorado, News 5 full coverage tonight from flash flooding and the fight over how to deal with all of the storm water. Now, News 5 investigates at 10. And good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 10. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Lisa Lydon. Another wild night of weather. With Now, News 5 investigates at 10. And thanks for watching News 5 at 10 on your Sunday. I'm You're watching News 5 at 10. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 5 at 10. I'm Lisa Leiden. Good evening. I'm Rob Cork. New at 10, the U.S. Coast Guard tonight suspended the search for 12 Marines. Today's flash briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. It is September 7th. Thanks for watching News 5. I'm Renee Skinner. And Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 Today. We are doing an act of mercy by repealing this law and replacing it with patient-centered health care reforms. Well, the debate starts today over the new House bill set to replace Obamacare. And celebrating women around the world, how our nation and local communities will stand in solidarity for a day without a woman. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, March 8th. I'm Bree Groves. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at noon. Well, good afternoon and thanks for joining us for News 5 at noon on this Wednesday. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 4. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 430. They're here. The Colorado Avalanche have arrived at Falcon Stadium this afternoon ahead of today's Stadium Series game against the L.A. Kings. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 6. And good evening, everyone. Now it is up to Governor Jared Polis. Governor or Colorado lawmakers today approved that national popular vote bill. Today we arrested Patrick Frazee on charges of first-degree murder of Kelsey Barrett. An arrest made in the disappearance of Kelsey Barrett, but the investigation and search for her far from over. We're tracking the next steps for police. Plus, possible that we'll have a shutdown. I would say the chances are probably very good. 800,000 federal jobs potentially affected. Washington fails to reach a deal before the deadline, what the partial government shutdown means for Southern Colorado. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 10. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at 10. I'm Zach Thaxton. Rob and Elizabeth have the holiday off. We Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Hello, I'm Andy Cohen. It's Saturday, October the 12th, and this is a News 5 update. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 Special Edition. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Falcon Stadium here on the campus of the United States Air Force Academy. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 after the game. Good evening and thanks for watching News 5 for this special edition of our newscast after the game. I'm Andy Cohen and boy, what a game it was. Always watching out for you. This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. Good morning, everyone. High fire danger today. Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. I'm Elizabeth Watts with your News 5 update. This is a KOAA News 5 Today update. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Bree Groves with your Today Show update. 
always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 Today. Well, good Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us here on News 5 Today. I'm Bree Groves. And I'm Ira Cronin. We are halfway through the work week. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at noon. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Ross. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at noon. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 4. Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining us for News 5 at 4. I'm Elizabeth Watts. And good afternoon. I'm Rob Cork. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 5. Hello, everyone, and thanks for staying with us here on News 5 at 5. We're also live right now on your favorite streaming device. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 6. And thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 6 on your Wednesday. We're also live right now on your favorite streaming device. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. Your top story tonight. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 630. Thanks for staying with us here on News 5 at 630. I'm Rob Quirk along with Elizabeth and our national anchor Tom Mustin tonight. Coming up at 10, unmasking outdoors. New guidelines allow more freedom for those who are vaccinated against COVID. Hear how some Southern Coloradans feel about the change. During destruction or heartache, art is a creation method. It's healing. And standing with survivors of sexual assault, an event tomorrow uses art to help heal from that trauma. We'll show you how easy it is for you to help. Always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5 at 10. And good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching News 5 at 10 on your Tuesday night. Finding us on your favorite streaming platform right now as well. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Lotz. Southern Colorado had a little bit of everything today in the weather department. With Always watching out for you. This is a first alert five weather alert. Well, good afternoon and thanks for joining us for News 5 at noon. Always watching out for you. This is a first alert five weather alert. And good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 10. We're also live right now on your favorite streaming device. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. We are on weather alert tonight with dangerously cold temperatures in much of the area. KOAA-TV, home of the Denver Broncos.